but mm -hmm. the way the world put him on a pedestal, and of course the injury isn't, you know, out of it's out of his control, right? It's not right. like he was playing bad, mm -hmm. but it's just this is like the worst thing that happened after this whole summer of just like waiting yeah. for the Zion, oh, the, the reign of Zion. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it's just it, it it's sucks. crazy. You know, I, I hope this is not going to be a, a Greg Oden situation. Mm -hmm. Where you know just somebody coming out of college who was amazing in college and was projected to be you know do such great things, yeah. but the injuries just stopped him from from competing. Mm -hmm. So I hope that's not the case with Zion. I, I do think he's going to wind up having to come down a, a little bit, mm -hmm. um, you know. But I hope he can. I hope he comes back and has a good uh, good season, good career. Yeah, you yeah, know, I'm all, I'm all, I'm always for for young brothers, you know, coming in and, and doing their thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's one thing you come out like Kwame Brown and you just trash. Right. You know, but it's a whole nother thing when you're actually mm -hmm. really good and you get a, a Brandon Roy or a Grant Hill type mm -hmm. of situation right. where, you know, these guys could be, you know, top guys in, in NBA history, but injuries kind of derailed that. Tracy McGrady, yeah. you know, one of, one of those guys with injuries kind of kind of jammed him up. So, you know, I wish Zion the best. I hope he comes back yeah. and, um, yeah, and can do sure. his thing. Parker here, pulling me up to Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Uh-huh.